Welcome to finals day of the Windmill World Darts Masters Championship here at Earl's Court. We're at the Earl's Court Park Inn International Hotel in the heart of London. So far, the tournament has been a cracker, and there's no reason why today's two finals should be any different. Seedings have worked out immaculately. Both the men's and the ladies' finals feature the top two in their respective tournaments. This is how they line up today. In the men's final, number one, Steve Beaton against the number two seed, Richie Burnett. And the ladies, Mandy Solomons, the defending champion, although currently seeded two, against Dieter Hedman, the top seed. Ladies first, of course, our commentator, Tony Green. Game on. Young George Noble, our referee, gets us underway for this, the first leg of what could be a great classic ladies final. Three. But not with darts like that. Poor start, Paul. Yeah, it's a bit of nerves, I think. Could not get many more of them. It's the best of five legs. 41. Well, we both know the capabilities. There's uh, Mandy here, won the first ever ladies British match player this year, and also the Belgian Open. 60. And D2, well, she's been winning titles in Australia, Denmark, Norway, also the Welsh Open. That's why she's the world number one. 85. So we've got the world. Women's Winmore champion. 30. Against the European champion. 125. Well, that's what she's capable of, Paul. Yeah, this is going to be very hard for Mandy. Being a favourite, obviously, last year's champion. Dieter's an excellent player. 100. Warming up. 60. That should come down. That's very <laughs> nearly falling 70. out, that ball. Yeah, let's this day in the hurry up to the board. <laughs> 80. So, shot on for Dieter Hedman. 78. Please yes. you require 110. Trouble 20, now he's 50. Oh dear, can't finish now. So, 90 left, maybe trouble 18. 74. Leaves a double. Man, you require 160. Oh, there it is. Two trouble twenties. 140. Yes. Do you require 36? So double 18 with Mandy Solomon's on 20. But there it Dave is. Dave Short and the first leg. Dieter Hedman. Great finish, of course. Brilliant finish that for Dieter. Second leg, Wonderful. Dieter to throw first. Game on. I think that's one part of Dieter's game where uh, she really stands head and shoulders above everyone. Yeah, she was telling me she plays in the Essex 60. League, in the men's league, to get the, the practice that she needs. We're well, not that good in Essex, Paul. 60. Six foot one is Dieter. Big lady. 41. 19. 140. Yeah, especially already on Mandy Solomon's only the second leg. Uh, ball. Yeah, she's got to get trapped together in a minute, Monday, I think. 140. Well, this is ladies' darts, top level, both champions in their own right. 
140. We've seen three 140s, two from Dieter, one from Mandy. Sixty. Do you require one hundred and twenty? Shanghai on the twenties. Hundred and nineteen left. So a treble twenty now would leave a double top. Forty. Still a chance for Mandy you now if she gets a good yeah, scoring. Good score now could put us straight back in the drawing. So. Sixty. Do you require eighty? Double 20 leaves double 10. Double 10 for the second leg. Double 5. And 75. Just pulled it a little there. Man, do you require 122? Uh, 18s is a shot here, yes. Trouble 18 now would leave the ball. 54. Do you require 5? On double 2. This is where the nerves twitch. Double two. Game shot, then a second leg. Dieter Yeah, certainly finishing well. Some clinical finishing there from Dieter. Third leg, Mandy to throw first. Game on. Mandy, five foot six. Very good stance, full flowing action. 60. And that side foot to the hockey. Perfect balance. Full extension of the arm. 41. Well, Mandy certainly has got to do something now. 2 0 down. Facing defeat. The reigning champion looking like losing a title. He's certainly got a work cut out for her. 99. 100. Oh, yeah. 41. Dieter went out to Australia, Paul, and actually won a men's championship there. It's, it's not the only men's championship she's won. <laughs> 100. So very little to separate them in this leg that I'm afraid Mandy has to win. Otherwise with a new Winmore Women's World Champion. 41. 60. Playing for prize money, £1,600 to the champion. 9 off though, Paul. Yeah, I slipped that one. 89. To leave 130. So that's a finish. But Mandy's still a chance here. You know, she can put a good score in. 60. So you require 130. Not a bad finish. 20, trouble 20 ball. 70 left. Yes, Bull for a 130, and what a way to take the title. Oh, not far away, was she? Man, do you require 121? To keep her hopes alive, yes. 11 leaves the ball. Now then, can Mandy hit the ball? Oh, no. 88. Think you require 25? To become the new ladies' champion, single nine, double eight, three nil victory. It's Jump. there. Shot. Never missed a dart. First dart every time, but there she is. The world number one becomes the women's Winmore World Masters champion. A lovely lady, smiles as big as you wish. But there it is, it's England's title. Obviously, there's a lot of emotion going around at the moment as you've just won the title. We haven't given you a moment to think, but what are your early thoughts? I was just hoping that I would take it this year because I've had a very good year and I was just hoping this would be the cream on the crown really. 
but it's a nice trophy and a few quid as well, but mainly it's the glory, I guess. Yes, it is the glory, yeah. We'll let you enjoy it. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Cheers. Well, on then to the men's final. Before we get Steve Beaton and Richie Burnett up onto the stage, let's have a word with both finalists. Well, I'm, I'm quite happy so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm into the final now. Um, obviously, I won it last year. I'd like to win it again. It'd be nice to do it. You, above all other players, seem to get yourself into a really comfortable groove. Is that what you set out to do? Um, it is very, it's very hard up there, especially with the cameras here and everything. Um, re really, I just, I just try to blank everything else out and try to get on with my game, really. It'll be very close. I don't see a lot in it. Uh, looking from... I mean, I feel terrible when I get up there, but once I'm in the game, then I start to feel better. But like I guess Steve, I think, will say himself, if he feels the same as me, that it'll be very close. And uh, I wouldn't like to predict because, like I guess, I like, I like Steve's another personal friend of mine. We all get along great and we have a good time. So I just, whoever wins, for the best. Like, so, you know. Enough of the chat then, let's get on with the action. Our commentator, as ever, Tony Green. Introductions out of the way. Practice starts for the world number one, Steve Beaton, and the reigning world Masters champion. His opponents, well, as I say, it's going to be a classic here. Richie Burnett, Burnett here, won so many titles this year. Number two in the world, so the seedings have gone as per order. One and two in the world, here to do battle. Over five sets, three legs, and that's what they're battling for. One of the most beautifulest trophies in darts. The Windmore World Masters, along with a cheque of £7,000 to the champion. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First set, first leg, Steve to throw first. Game on. He's gone before Martin Fitzmaurice can get in his underway. 60. First leg, first set. Richie Burnett. And a deathly hush. 60. As we ask now from comments, as we have throughout the semi finals and finals from Paul Williams, our expert. Hello, Paul. Hello, Tony. Nice 95. to be here again. Any thoughts? Mm, just depends, really, literally, on who gets them doubles. It's, it's so close, this game. I don't like to predict anybody to win this. 60. Right, so there we are. There we are, full audience from 39 countries around the world. This is the 21st Winmore World. Masters. 97. It's going to be nerves there, Paul, isn't there? The assault new set. The first couple. 100. Of set. First couple of legs in the set. I didn't get nervous, but after that. Well, there we are, Australia. And new Zealand. 99. 250. It's the first look at a finish. <laughs> 95. Steve, you require 150. Maybe the trouble. 100. So 50 left, no out shots. On Burnett. Just cat and mouse in this first leg. Just trying to get the range. 55. Steve, you require 50. Single 18, double 16, first leg. Double 8. 34. Richie, you require 131. Fingers will be twitching on this first couple of legs, as Paul remarked. But this is an out shot, needed the treble. 111 left. So single 19 leaves double 16. 87. Where is nerves coming out? Steve, you require 16. Double 8 then. Yes, that's the first leg. Steve Beaton. So with the dark support. It's a nice finish that Second Steve. leg, Richie Seven to Roper. Game on. So much expectancy here, isn't there? There we go. 180! Well, we've seen him doing that throughout, haven't we? That's just one of many to come, I think. 140! I don't think Alfred Hitchcock could have set a better scene, could he? 
100. The dragon on the flights. Sixty. One hundred and forty. He's really got a bit between the teeth, knows Richard. One hundred and thirty-seven. So finishes Richie the ball first. Richie requires eighty-one. Options here, treble 15 or treble 19. So that leaves him 66. Double 18. 63. Steve, you require 164. So make the chandelier shake. That would have been in the treble. 60. Richie, you require 18. Will he go for double 9? Looks that way. Yes, that's the second leg. Richie Burnett. One apiece then, Paul. Yes, all Third even as expected. Team. Great Rose game ahead. Game on. Yes, going with the darts. So, Steve Beaton, favourite to take the first set. 85. 85. They're getting some great order, aren't they? Well, the best of all, yeah. 121. known as the Adonis of darts now the world number one Steve Beaton 41 and this man who's brought life back to darts in Wales switching 19s 59 85. And we've had such a great build-up, Paul, haven't we, through the quarter-finals and the semis? Yeah, it's been um, it's been best of order, and people the code are enjoying this. It's absolutely world-class dance, this. 137. <laughs> 45. So Steve Beaton, under pressure now, already lost his advantage in this leg which will decide the first set 100 leave 84 seems to have slowed down a bit 137 here for 84 here we go then for the set trouble 20 double 12 14 leaves the ball no he wants double eight Yes, look at that for a pick off. Yes, that's the first set. Richie Burnett. Steve, thinking deep now, the champion. Second set, first leg, Richie to throw first. Game on. Steve lost that set with his darts, Paul. I know, he's been thinking about that now. It's up to him to pull himself together and get this leg off for Richie now. 100. Such a great action, hasn't he, uh, Burnett? Yeah, very fluent. 91. There's a Cyclops looking straight down the hockey. It's what we call the camera. 60. It's not similar to the camera they use in cricket. 66. Tony Wood, editor of Darts World, taking down all the notes. 100. 41. Steve's getting on the wires, they're just not going in the treble for him at the moment. Well, to be quite honest, Paul, I've been, uh, he seems to have slowed his game down to uh, the semi final and quarter final match. 97. Is it because of Richie throwing a bit slow? It may well be, yes. 100. Well, Richie, you require 144. Whichever way it is, this is an out shot with three darts. Trouble 20 would leave 84. Two troubles would leave double 12. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Good recovery. 80. So maybe just still a bit of light in this leg for Beaton. 99. Richie, you require 64. And trouble 16, double eight, the way he finished on the last leg. There it is, double eight again. Oh, no. 48. Steve, you require 104. Well, 54 of them, another 18, double 16. Double 16 with his last start. 72. You've got to be fast. Well done, cameras. Richie, you require 16. Double eight. That's the first leg. Richie Burnett. Going further Second ahead, leg, Paul. Steve yeah, he's getting, he's getting his really, Game really on. getting his head on there, is Richie. 125. Enjoyment to the crowd. 96. Where they are. Intrigue out there, isn't the Paul? It's a full audience, that. Excellent stuff. 80. <laughs> Means so much to these players. Second major championship in darts. The Winmore World Masters. 60. One hundred and forty. Yes, coming to life is beaten. Finish a one five six. Time for Burnett to trail in points in this leg. Back he comes. One hundred and forty. Steve, you require one hundred and fifty six. Well, he's away before he can even get the score out. Sixty. He's not out of this one, you know, Burnett, is he? Not even yet. on two or five. Chelsea's yet. 81. Steve, you require 96. Annette, Steve's wife. Watching him suffer at the moment. 56. Yes, Ricky, you require 124. Well. Here it is for the second set. Trouble 20. Trouble 18 leaves the ball. Or four, four. So, trouble 20. 84. The pressure on now. Steve, you require 40. Double top. Yes. Yes, that's the second leg. Steve Beaton. That's a force for a hobby. Third leg, Richie to throw first. Game I think it's on. right what you said, Tony. Steve has speeded his game up a bit. Well, this is the one, though. This is the advantage throw. 81. Just to remind you, it's the best of five sets. So, as I say, Steve goes two sets down, Paul. He's got a lot to do. 100. Well, there's Andy Fordham. Great character. He's going to be good for television, that lad. Number six in the world. 60. Look at him. Never, a, never a word. Fred there on his uh, left. Travel all the way from Germany. 60. He's Irish, but he's a police cop in Germany. 43. There's a man who's travelled the world. They give badges away from every country. He's got the lot. 140. Everything but a 180 badge. 95. Chances now for Steve to force ahead. Paul. Yeah, he's got to take the advantage now. 45. Won't be pleased with that. We keep seeing that one five six finish, don't we? We've seen it once, yes. Two of them. 140. Steve, you no require room for 156. error. Yes, needs another. Yes, double eighteen for one five six. 
or the oh, 120. Uh, oh, we're calling that the Andy Ford match. Require 82. So this is a chance. Ball double 16. This is for the second set. Sorry, yeah, the second set. 17. Double top. Yeah. Oh, clinical. With the final nicely balanced, we'll take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back with the climax of the World Masters Championship. He's really mortaring Game on. Richard. Well, this is a man who's got to dig deep. Twirling 2-0, he's the reigning champion, he's the number 100. one in the world. Richard Burnett, number two in the world. Already having won the Welsh Open, the Danish Open, the Midland Open. Achieved the greatest average ever in a British international. 31. 38.54, we're seeing why here today. One hundred. Ninety-five. I think if it was a three, and it wouldn't reflect on the championship, would it? In the final. No. Yes. All the way. 134. 60. Steve, you require 112. Yes, single 20, double 16. That's the way, yes, that's what it should be doing. First leg. Steve Lee. Well, we're seeing the type of darts that got into the final. Second leg, Richie to throw first. Game on. This is it with the game of darts, Tony. You can't stop the opponent scoring. You have to outscore them. Excellent. 60. One hundred. We often wonder whether it's uh, an advantage being two in the look because every time it's seen to come back to two two. That's the way the championship would go. It could happen here as well. Eighty one. One hundred. I noticed as well, uh, Paul Burnett fell away a little bit in the middle part of the match against uh, Andy Ford. It's very hard to keep this level up. 140! Sometimes we do have a bit of a breather, but it's to hit in the doubles when you need them most. 140! Well, uh, that spells the story out, doesn't it? 100! Steve, you require 161. Well, I needed a trouble. It's 80, trouble 15. 95. 66, but an outshot Richie here. You require 120. Shanghai, 20, trouble 20, double top. Good start, single 20. Double top. 80. That would have crucified Steve, me. you require 66. Well, he went for 25, 41. Single 9, I'd leave double 16. Double 60. Yes, yeah, it's there, he's back. Set. Steve Beaton. Well, a bit of breathing space there, Paul, for Steve. That was a key Ball double set, to hit. First leg. Richie was there Richie right to on his throw first. Game on. So 
moving on then to fourth set, first leg. Another hurdle for Steve Baton. 114! There's the darts. Darts swapped all, but mind you. 123! Let's see if he can take this set. It'll be favourite, won't he, Beaton? Certainly well. 114! Sneaked in. <laughs> Sneaked in the right treble, did that one. Cracking leg here. One hundred. Eighty-five. Well, since Warren's introduction, one hundred and twenty-one. So about two crackers. Yeah, sixty-one left. Went for the 25. It's double 18. If it's there, it is, and it's in. A big finish, 1-2-1. One, one. Beaten, in trouble. Second leg, Steve, to throw first. Oh, lovely Game old on. shot, Paul. That was absolutely a dream shot, that was. 84. So just one, set, one leg away from becoming the 1994 Winmore World Masters 59. Steve Beaton will never say it down. 180! You must have known that was going to happen. <laughs> well, as I say, the game's not over. Till the fat lady misses. 140! Cracking, absolutely cracking dance. 97 to save the set and the match. 100. Steve, you require 97. Trouble 19, trouble 18. Single 20. Double 57. top left, no out shot for the net. And 22. He's just checking his score. That's what he needs. Oh, look at that! Right in the middle. Steve Double top. It's all over that he one. Is. Remarkable. Second the speed Beaton. merchant of darts. Steve Beaton. It's one apiece. Game on. But this is the hurdle he has to overcome this now. This is the one. Richard Burnett's darts with the advantage. This one leg would give him the championship. 100! He ain't lying down, as you said, Paul. 100! to step in now, Tony. Yeah. As I say, I think the viewers have thoroughly enjoyed what we've seen here. 100! 81! Well, you can put that down as a slip. So it's Beaton's chance here. 100! Slip. 55. So it's not over yet. Beaten now with the advantage. Needs that treble. Yes, he's got it. 85. So now then, finish on for Beaton of 116. No out shot for Burnett. 100. To take us all the way. 116 out shot. Treble 20, double 18. Still trouble 20. 100. Double eight left, but this is the one. Richie, you require 105. This could take the title. 85 left, trouble 15. Double top, one dart. Steve looks away. He's missed. 85. Oh, dear. Richie, you require 16. Double eight. It's there, no messing. He's come to life. Look at the net go there. 
Well, as, as it's gone, this championship, it deserved a final such as we're seeing here now. 2-2. Two, two. No, 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 no. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth set, first leg. Steve to throw first. Game on. Well, Paul, exhausting. It's great for oh, these people. It's riveting stuff, this. Brilliant. 41. It's the way the championship's gone throughout, hasn't it? But here we are now. Final set. 60. Nineteens, yes. One hundred and thirty-seven. I think it's a question of who can hold the nerve out the longest, dear Tony. Well, he's come back very well as beaten. He's been forcing Burnett where in the earlier stages 100. it was uh, Richie that was That's right, forcing Tony. Steve into mistakes. Fifty-four. Martin Fitzmaurice there, doing a great job. Two of them. Yes. 139. So down to finish 130, not about out shot. Looking to put pressure on that out shot is Burnett. 80 of them. 100. Stevie require 130. Trouble 20. Still a chance. Trouble 20 ball. Yes, ball. They'll be going right at it. 89. Richie, you require 101. Back to Burnett. Swings and roundabouts here. Yes, 41 left. Single nine. One dart. Double 16 for the first leg. Oh, on the wire. 69. Steve, you require 41. Single nine for Steve. Hold your nerve for double 16. He does. Yeah, Goes ahead at the crucial leg. stage. Steve Second leg, Richie to throw first. Game on. So we've got to see now whether the number two seed can hold the pressure. Well, from one dart away from victory, he's now stirring defeat in the face. Unbelievable game. 100! <laughs> but you can see the determination. Look at that, doesn't blink. 41! One hundred. It's a tiebreaker set. This is well called if uh, Burnett should win this one. That's to be won by two clear legs. Sixteen. Ninety-nine points ahead. One hundred. So consistent. Eighty-five. One hundred. Four consecutive turns. One hundred and one left. One hundred. Richie, you require one hundred and one. Maybe sixty. Yes. Single nine. Double sixteen. 69. Still not too uh, unconcerned there. 215 left for the champion. 100. Richie, you require 32. For 1-1, one, one, final set, double 16. Yes, yes it's there. Yes, that's a second leg. The Walsh Richie Orps Burnett. live on. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you and the players, the fifth and final set must be won by two clear legs. Should the set score go to four legs each, the ninth leg becomes sudden death. Third leg, Steve to throw first. Game on. So it's Martin Fitzmaurice spelling it out, but just to reiterate, it has to be won now by two clear legs. Should the score be 4-4, four, four, and it's sudden death. 60. We're in a situation, it'd be nice to see it go all the way, Paul. It certainly will. This is a cracking game. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. 140! Well, this is what he's got to do. He's just to force uh, Steve here, because Steve has the advantage of throwing first. 60! And now it has swung the Welshman's way. 
81. Come on, Steve! And down. 59. It becomes a bit of an endurance test as well, you know. It, it takes a lot out of you, Paul. The nerves and the pressure, it certainly does. 81. Needs them all. Oh. 83. Just moved along to the wrong bed. So finish will be on after these three. Looks like a good one as well. Yes, 120, 79 left. Could go for trouble 13, could take the 19s up. Yeah, went for the trouble 133. 13. 133! No out shot here for Steve. Ninety-five. Richie, you require sixty-six. Options: trouble ten or ball. Double eighteen to take the lead two-one. Yes, it's there. Against the darts, what an advantage now to the boy all from Wales. Game on. That's the breakthrough he needed, Paul. Certainly did. Now the pressure is on Steve. Now can he pull this one back? Well, he has done uh, from being 2-0 down. He's come back to this stage, so he had another barrier to break for Steve Beaton. 81. 123. And that's the way he's going to do it. Full house here at the Parking International in Fulham. 140. 39 countries set on the way in the championship. It's now down to England and Wales. 85! And certainly looking like Wales at this particular moment. 100! Richie, you require 140. He's had a great year. This would take the title, yes. Is he going for trouble 16? He is, yes, he'll stay there. 124! To leave him, double eight. Looking ominous. 55! Richie, you require 16. Championship point, double eight. Yes, it's there, there he is! The newly crowned champion, the Welshman that's took everything back to the valleys, brought the Welsh alight, brought Wales alight this year in darts, kisses his flight, pulls it out with his teeth, going to be using his hands to lift the trophy, the 1994 Winmore World Master. Give it to him, he's loving it there, Richie Burnett. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to have a word with the new World Masters champion, Richie Burnett. From where I sat, it looks easy peasy. <laughs> ah, well, uh, uh, well, like I said to you before, uh, I, I knew it was going to be uh, very close. And uh, I was gearing myself up before the game, you know, to get it, you know, that leg that you need. And I thought I'd give it away, you know, when I had a dart to make it free one, but... Uh, uh, I got a lot more arse than that. I'll get in there in the end. I think, you know, uh, <laughs> just carry on and see how he goes. And he gave me a few chances, I've got to be honest. He didn't play as well as I thought he did play. But uh, Steve Beaton is a player that um, you've got to hit your outs against him, otherwise he'll punish you. And he did that to get, you know, to get me in a situation where it was two all and one all in the final set. And uh, I'm just glad to get off here, I've got to be honest, I was totally shattered after that, I've got to be honest. <laughs> no one ever doubted your ability with the darts, how did your nerves stand up? Well, I was shaking head to, head to foot. <laughs> uh, the vibrations of those leaves on the, on the stage, they were shaking as well when I was throwing, so uh, that's how bad I was. Uh, anyway, on behalf of everybody in the hall, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Masters champion, Richie Burnett. Championship 
the runner-up to receive a cheque for £800 plus trophy, ladies and gentlemen, England's Mandy Solomons. Well, Mandy Solomons had the pleasure of taking the title last year, runner-up this year, great achievement. There she is, a lovely lady, the ladies' match play champion, our runner-up in this, the 21st Winmore World Masters. Frank Bellotto, a nice smile on his face as Mandy. Check there for Ladies and gentlemen, your ladies runner-up, Mandy Solomon. <laughs> to receive a cheque for £1,600 plus trophy, the 1994 Winmore World Ladies Champion, ladies and gentlemen, from England, Dita Hedman. Well, she's won titles from all around the world this year. Lovely lady, Dita Hedman. There she is, the 1994 Ladies Winmore World Master. A cheque there for £1,600, and there is the beautiful trophy. Hold aloft. It's very heavy, but she's managing it. Look at that smile. Winmore World Woman Singles Champion for 1994, Dita Hedman. She'll smile all the way. Great champion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Dieter Hedman. <laughs> to our final set of presentations, to the World Masters itself, one of the greats of our modern day game, Ladies and gentlemen, England's Steve Beaton. He walks to the stage with a smile. He was the champion last year, runner-up this. But you can't take it away from the man. He's the world number one. Gave us a great final, came back from the dead. There he is, a cheque for £3,000. Lovely smile. The Adonis of darts, runner-up this year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up this year, Steve Beaton. To our final presentation, in February he was the Dutch Open champion, in May he was the Welsh Open champion, he then went on in August to become the Danish Open champion, in October the British match play champion, he's now the 1994 Winmore World Master to receive a cheque for £7,000 plus that marvellous Winmore trophy, ladies and gentlemen, your new champion, from Wales, Richie Burnett. So Richie Burnett, the man who's brought fire back to Wales. The dragon has been breathing right throughout this championship for this young man. Well respected, the boy of the valleys. There he is now with Frank Bellotto, who had him receive a check for £7,000. That the trophy which he will re retain and also the Winmore World Masters trophy, which is, he can lift that, is a strong man. <laughs> I thought he'd have trouble, here it is. The greatest trophy in the game, other than the World Championship. The darts have fallen off, <laughs> but who's worried, because he is the 1994 Winmore World Master. When you ask to all the trophy aloft, you find it very difficult. Frank Bellotta having problems there as well. That's good. Let's get the smile going. Yeah, that's it. All right. That's it towards me now. Okay, just do one more like that. Right, fine. Let's try again. Thank you. We leave you now on Wire Sport with our champion. There he is. 1994 Winmore World Master, Richie Burnett. Winmore and that concludes a marvellous few days of darts here in London at the Winmore World Masters Championship. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage on Sportswire. Two worthy champions winning these magnificent trophies. Look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care. From everybody here at Earl's Court, goodbye. <laughs>